Now he gives the hierarchy of what is param, what is supreme, what is greater. Hmm? He says, Indriyebhya para hi artha. He says, the sense objects are superior to sense organs. I thought sense organs are the ones which perceive. But at the moment, tell me who is supreme. Any object comes in front of your sense organ runs after it or not. Hmm? And para also means cause. Hmm? The cause of your sense organs are the subtle elements which go to make the gross world of objects. And what you experience through your sense organ, what you call as sense stimuli, is the subtle elements in your sense organs. Anyway, that is the science of perception. Hmm? What does scripture say? The sense, org- uh, the sense objects are subtler than your sense organs. Subtler, higher is the meaning of the word param, before cause. Therefore, the elements, the sense objects are the cause of your sense organ. Say how? If there was no principle of light, your eyes had any meaning? Your eyes perceive light, but because there is light that your eyes can see. Hmm? Therefore, subtler than your senses is the sense object. Hmm? Rather, sense stimuli. Subtler, higher, more pervasive, more powerful is your mind. So, arthebhyas cha param manaha. Even from sense objects, the elements, each sense element can be perceived by one sense organ, but the mind perceives all of them together. Hmm? Therefore, beyond these objects is the mind. See, our senses get attracted by the objects. It sees an object, it gets attracted. Don't tell me. Hmm? You don't keep looking out for a beautiful girl. A beautiful girl passes from there and your eyes go like that. <coughs> Doesn't it? Hmm? <coughs> Say yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So who's more powerful than your sense organ? Girls. <laughs> right <laughs> so the sense objects hmm, stir your senses but the objects may be there hmm. you the most beautiful girl may be passing from there but if your mind is somewhere else you do not even see the existence of that object this happens when you marry that girl and become her husband. <laughs> Even if she is there, she may be screaming away at the top of her voice. You hear nothing. Yeah. Her bangles might be going. No, they don't wear any bangles these days. What chum chum chum? You won't understand. Yeah. The vessels will be falling. You hear nothing. Hmm? So see, mind is more powerful than the sense organs as well as the sense objects. Again, superior, subtler, more pervading, more powerful, influential, on which something else depends. So, all this is the meaning of the word param. Manasas tu para buddhi. See, mind can think of only those things 
that it has perceived and it already knows. But intellect can penetrate and go to know beyond its present knowledge some more knowledge, some more experiences. And therefore, higher than the mind is the intellect. Is there anything higher than the intellect in this world? I think we only consider anybody very intelligent. And that's the highest. That's why nowadays no girls want to marry these guys because they are not intelligently, intellectually stimulating. So intelligent, is there anything more higher or anything higher than the intellect? Buddhir Atma Mahan Paraha. This is not the Supreme Atma, but the Mahat Atma, hmm, superior than the intellect, is the total totality. Hmm. Now, what do we mean by that? Hmm? Let me tell you as much as we may be proud of our knowledge. Our thinking, our intelligence is not all our intelligence conditioned by the trends of those times. Hmm? Today we are looking back and saying oh, how terrible this caste system was. Hmm? But if you were in that time, you would be very much part of that caste system. And everyone in the world, whether it was the class system, whether it was the gentry, the gentry and the serfs, hmm? whether it was the priest and the gentry, was that conflict not going on even in Europe at the same time? Hmm? Why was most Germans at that time influenced by Hitler? Hmm? Total trend. While India at the same time was influenced by Mahatma Gandhi. Total trend of non-violence. Yesterday you saw that beautiful show put up in, by the New Zealanders. Hmm? Your intellect hmm, is subject to hmm, the trends of the time, the knowledge of the time, the information that is available. Is it not? Everybody has to be these days on smartphones. Hmm? Those who are still old timers and not with the trends, they say, what's the use of it? You can't live without it. And they say, how are we living without it? Hmm? Your intellect is actually controlled by the total intellect. This is called as Mahatattva. Hmm? Really speaking, we become very proud of our knowledge or our inventions, etc. But there is really nothing new that we invent. Our fashions are the trends of that time. Hmm? Any logic for which you thought that you should keep your pants so low. <laughs> yeah. Tell me. Because everybody is doing it, you are doing it. Isn't it? Your intellect is subject to the total intellect. Let's put it, the trends of those times. The knowledge and beliefs of those times. Even 20 years ago, some things would have been shocking. Not acceptable. Even a crime. And these days, in fact, you say, why not? Hmm? Yeah. It is acceptable to you. Twenty years ago, those things were not acceptable. Hmm? And everybody thought like that. Hmm? Today, why everybody is thinking the other way around? Hmm? Nobody can say. Because we are influenced, our intellect is influenced by the trends of that time. That is called as Mahatattva. Hmm? 
Now, subtler than that also. Hmm? What is it that guides the total desire, the total experience, the total trends of that time? That is the unmanifest. Hmm? Avyakta. Hmm? So, subtler than the mahat, Subtler than the total intellect is the total unmanifest vasanas. Hmm? See in you also. Hmm? That subtler than your intellect which even influences the thinking of your intellect are your vasanas. The impressions you have gathered. Vasanas you cannot see. They are unmanifest. But when they manifest, hmm, they are seen as likes, dislikes, desires, tendencies, hmm, etc. Thus you have the total tendencies, what you call as trends, and you have your individual tendencies hmm, that you call as your habits, your attitudes, which manifest as your likes, dislikes, desires, personality traits hmm? and they are influenced by your unmanifest vasanas. Hmm? And even though unmanifest not seen, it manifests. It changes. There is cause and effect relationship. Hmm? But avyakta tu para purusha. but subtler than the unmanifest hmm, vasanas, even the total vasanas hmm, is the purusha. Hmm? Purusha the word means not man. Hmm? Purusha means the consciousness. Hmm? Purusha the word also means that which fills up everything, that which completes everything, and therefore Purna. Hmm? 